Hey guys, and welcome back to creating your own drone chassis in Tinkercad. In this lesson, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a battery tray to hold our battery. Um, this is also going to connect our four most mountings together. In the last lesson, what we're doing is arranging the four most mountings in the right position. Um, now they're in the right position, what we're going to do is select the mountings and then what I need to do is go to back up to my shape menu and I'm just going to hide the selection just to so we're starting with a new work plane just to make it a little bit easier when it comes to making our battery tray. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a box and if I just scroll down on this basic shapes here we've got loads of different shapes that we can use. So if you want to do a slightly different variation of your drone, you can feel free to use any of these shapes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a box that is 47mm by 47mm. And I'm also just going to, if I just change the front view there, I can change the height to 3mm. So we've got quite a thin box here. And what we need to do to create the battery tray is actually create a, six boxes. So I'm going to create a box with a, a, so a whole box, one of these striped ones here. Just place it on my work plane again. And what I need to do is just put a little bit of an offset on these. So I'm going to change this to 44. Um, I'm going to change the width to 44 as well. And I'm also going to change the height there to... 3mm. So I've got the two boxes together there. And once I've got them two boxes, I'm just going to select both the boxes there. Use the align tool again. And once I've got them in the right position, I'm just going to group them. So we're left with this kind of kind of rectangular box shape here. I'm just going to move that over a little bit. So we've got the first box um, and then we need to create sort of two more of these similar shapes. So I'm going to add another box in and this time we're going to make it 47mm um, in length there and I'm going to change the width there just to 23mm. And once I've got that I just need to change the height there to 3mm as well. And once again, we need to add another whole box. So I'm just going to add another whole box in there, put it on my work plane. Um, I'm just going to change the dimensions this time to 20 mil width and a length of 44. And the height, we're just going to change there to 3 mil as well. And again, the same sort of process, what we're going to do is we're going to select them two shapes. We're going to use the align tool to put them kind of in the center of each other. And then once we've got them aligned, use that group tool to group them all together. So we've got two out of the three that we need. So again, we're going to add another box in and I'm going to change the width and the height there to 20, the width and the length there to 23 and 23 and the height there to just 3 mil there and again I'm going to add another box, um, a whole box there and I'm changing, uh, this time the dimension, default dimensions are actually right, uh, um, we need to keep it 20 mil by 20 mil and then we can change the uh, the height of it to 3 mil, and again, you guys will be pros at this by now, you're going to align the two boxes together so that they're centered, and if I press group there, that's going to create our third shape. Once we've got all them shapes, what we're going to do is we're going to select all three, and once again, we're going to click the align tool just to put them all in the center of each other. 
And once we've got all three in the center there, we can press the group tool. And there we have our battery tray. So next lesson, we're going to learn how to assemble all of our parts together.